This article is, writ uh, is, writ is written by the Oldville Tribune, Richard Montenegro, the author. North Carolina triple homicide suspect found near Salvation Mountain. Benjamin Joseph Taylor awaits extradition in the murders of 22-year-old Markayla Johnson, 4-year-old Miracle Johnson, and 7-month-old Messiah Johnson in Charlotte, North Carolina. Salvation Mountain Slap City, the suspect in a triple homicide of a woman and her two young children out of North Carolina was apprehended in a major enforcement effort in the area of campsites spread out between Salvation Mountain and Slap City on Saturday evening, March 16th. Benjamin Joseph Taylor, 35, was taken into custody around 7.45 p.m. by Sheriff's Office personnel and FBI agents and transported to the Imperial County Jail where he will wait await extradition according to the Imperial County Sheriff's Office activity logs. Sheriff Lieutenant Erro, uh, Sheriff Lieutenant Clinton Erro said the department became aware on Friday night, March 15, by the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department in North Carolina that Taylor might be in the slabs and that he was wanted in the triple homicide. Earlier Friday, shortly before 1.45 p.m., Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers were conducting a search warrant when officers discovered human remains and later identified them to be 22-year-old Markayla Johnson, 4-year-old Miracle Johnson, and 7-month-old Messiah Johnson. It wasn't clear what relationship Taylor had to the three slain individuals, but early reports had Taylor, uh, but early reports had Taylor sought for PC uh, 273.5 in this case for domestic violence. A brief press conference posted to the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department X page also mentions domestic violence but doesn't elaborate. A press release from the Charlotte Mecklenburg PD states that in addition to the three counts of murder, Taylor will be charged with one count of concealment of death. Erro said. No one was injured in bringing Taylor to justice, and that's important at the end of the day. These were definitely serious allegations. We're, we're glad we could work together as a team and work with the Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department, our border crimes suppression, our border crime suppression team, and the FBI. Erro said on Sunday morning, March 17th. Uh, it shows that we're all on the same page, and that's to keep the community safe. He said. Uh, local and federal law enforcement started to develop its information once the information came in on Friday night and by midday Saturday, Erro said all of the North County uh, Sheriff's Patrol, the Border Crime Suppression Team and the FBI were making contact in the area. Uh, Erro said it was uh, those contacts that led to someone calling in the sighting of Taylor just before 6 p.m. Taylor who said to be staying in a camp in what is referred to as the second guard shack, about 200 yards north of Salvation Mountain on Beale Road, about an equal distance before reaching Slab City. From there, personnel were getting in position and, and cordoning, um, cordoning of the area to move in and take Taylor. Erro couldn't say whether Taylor was armed when he was apprehended, but again, no one was hurt. Uh, as for the slain mother and her children, according to Char uh, Charlotte Mecklenburg PD, identification was made based on the uh, totality of evidence discovered and presumptively given the condition of the remains. Uh, so there it is folks, the latest from Slab City. Uh, triple homicide murder were found in the slabs. I mean, you know, it's horrible, right? So let me know in the comment section, in the comment section what do you guys think about this situation. Uh, thank you for watching.